Yo, what's going on Pokemon friends and Pokemon fans? Welcome back to Open TCGs and today, well, we're gonna be doing a battle between two blister packs because it's going to be a cheap battle. Now, the point of this video is to see which one, either Burning Shadows or Guardians Rising, gives us the best pulls. I paid about $7.78 for each one of these and as you can imagine, I have a ton more to open up. But today we're going to find out if this was a loss or a profit, all right? If I do pull some good cards in here, we will go ahead and put them somewhere, put the prices somewhere up here. So now we will see who's gonna have the better value in the packs, okay? We're not just gonna be doing a point system battle. We're gonna be doing a, is it worth it to buy, okay? Kind of a battle, okay? So let's go ahead and open up the Burning Shadows right here on the right, or my right. And then uh, we have one pack, two packs, three packs. And then there is a code card for one of you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I do appreciate you guys sticking around, watching videos, commenting, liking, disliking, whatever it is that you do. Awesome. Thank you so much for being an awesome person. So that code card uh, went away to somebody. Here is the Locario coin, which is amazing looking. I do have quite a few of these in my collection. But here are the uh, three packs plus the promo out of the blister. And uh, let's see, let's see what happens here. If I can manage to open this blister pack because my goodness, this is hard to open. Hold on a second, let me. All right, I don't want to. Knock the camera down. There we go. Wow. Some of these things are so hard to open up. It's crazy. Let me get this. I don't want to show this code card here because I do want to keep this for my uh, tin sales, the custom tin sales that I do have for sale in my channel. If you guys are interested in buying one of them, please let me know. Send me a message and uh, look at the uh, video down in the description box below. It'll tell you what comes in the tins. They're pretty amazing. I've sold 20 of them at this point. So, there we go, a Vicavolt promo card, which is a very good playable card, as well as the code card is gonna be going into my tins or maybe going into a giveaway. Who knows what I'm gonna do with it, but I just don't get rid of them for no reason. Um, I do wanna give them away to somebody. And like I said before, in all my previous videos, um, I am away on a trip and I can do a question of the day or give you guys a daily code card winner. So um, I'm trying to give you guys as code, many code cards as I can in the openings. All right, so here's the Alolan Meowth, and there's the promo right there. I didn't even show you guys that one, but that's that's pretty much what it is. Sun and Moon 43, and then the Vic Volt, which is really good for the strong charge ability. So, the coin of the um, Guardians Rising Blister Pack was a Metagross, which is amazing. And then, let's go ahead and open up this pack and see which one gives us a better value. So, we'll do Sun and Moon, Burning Shadows to start up this opening. All right, here we go. Perfect, let's see what comes out of this one. And this one does have a Cara Patrick. There's a water energy right there. And then three and two, and see what kind of goodies we get out of this pack. A Panseer, Magikarp. And now, by the way, only if it's worth $2 or more, I'm going to um, annotate it up here somewhere. If the card isn't worth that much money, it's not worth me selling it. Um, I usually do sell like the ones that I do have like, I don't know, like over a place that I usually sell on eBay. But it has to be at least $2 to sell because there is no point of me selling something that is under $2. Just shipping itself is crazy just because I do ship it with uh, a tracking and it usually is about almost $2.60 for shipping. So it makes no sense. But anyway, here's an Acerola Reverse Hollow and a Gardevoir EX. Uh, EX, wow, sorry about that. GX. I just got finished doing some EX stuff for the channel. So that's why I have EX in my mind. But a Gardevoir GX out of a blister pack, guys. Um, I don't know how much this is going for, and this is obviously going to be annotated up here somewhere. But I do believe if this card is still the way it was, it pretty much paid for those two blister packs right there. Nice. I don't think Gardevoir is a, a uh, as popular as it is it was when it first came out. Um, just because I know a lot of people still play it, obviously, and it's still pretty good. It's just not as hyped up as it was. Uh, it has that weakness to metal, which metal is crazy now with the addition of Magnezone and and all these good cards like the Solgaleo Ultra Prism card. So um, Gardevoir is getting beat to down to death with metal Pokemon, 
But nevertheless, I will go ahead and po post the video, um, the annotation of the price up here somewhere. And uh, yeah, man, there you go, a Gardevoir EX. Very nice. All right. Guardians Rising pack here for one of you guys. Thank you so much for watching. There you go. Get yourselves a Tapu Lele or a DCE Secret Rare. If you do, please promise. You got to promise to tell me. Tell me what you guys got out of the PCCGO. It'll be amazing. All right. Here we go. Chansey. Gothita. Lola and Vulpix. Fletchling. Matchup doing the dab. Metang. Altar of the Sun. Alolan Graveler. Watch out, Reverse Hollow, that's an uncommon, and a Sharpedo, regular rare. Okay, so so far, well, definitely, obviously, Burning Shadows will be winning by big time. But Guardians Rising still can give us some good pulls that will be, that could be, um, blowing away the Garden, the Guard of War uh, GX. Why do you want to say EX? I don't know why I keep wanting to say EX. GX, GX Open TCGs, we are no longer EX. All right, Meowth. Lulum Vulpix, Electabuzz, Mount Lenakila, Kiawe, I hate Kiawe sometimes when I play against him in a TTCGO, a Locario, Reverse Hollow Rare, and Ellen Raquanid. Okay, not too bad. Guardians Rising up next. Oh, wait, that, was a, uh, that wasn't a burn, uh, Guardians Rising uh, pack I gave you before, it was a Burning Shadows. Okay, so three. So you're not going to get a Tapu Lele out of that one. My bad. All right. Three and two. Let's see. What we got? Petrat. Gligar. Bellsprout. Cottony. Lolan Centru. Fieldblower. Hakama O. Brooklyn Hill. One of my favorite uh, stadiums. Barboach. Reverse Hollow. And that's a uh, coming in a Whiskash. Regular rare. All right, last pack here of Burning Shadows. Definitely, <clears throat> excuse me, looking for something good. <clears throat> oh, my throat's so bad. I apologize for that. A dark energy aside. Three and two for the Patrick. Sock, Oddish, Charmander, Meryl, Strike One, Pansage, Wabafet, Acerola. Ooh, nice. Gloom. A Lolan Grammar Reverse Hollow, and that's a common and a Slow King. Okay, so that was the only good pull out of the Burning Shadows Blister, which is more than enough. I am not complaining whatsoever. Now, Lycan Rock, you have a lot on your shoulders to pull. You literally have to give me a Tapu Lele, or there is a Guardians Rising code card for one of you guys, a Tapu Lele, or a DCE Secret Rare to topped us off if not well guardians rising will let us down and by far we'll just have to say that in value as well as pulls well you know burning shadows definitely took the cake but we'll see we could be surprised by this last card coming out of here a cliff fable lampant the most ridiculous pokemon in the world and beware thank god he's not in uh, ultra prism anymore nice and hands hammer that's a pretty good one right here and a whale lord so you guys can still like guardians rising better than anything else and yes i know vikavolt is a lot better but as far as the price of this set uh burning shadows that means guard of war gx is it so i'm going to put it up here again when i open this up in the pack i'm going to put it up there as a value and i think if i'm not wrong this pretty much paid for both of these blister packs but hey if you guys like the video all you have to do is give me a like and let me know it's awesome and continue to do it. If you did not, well, let me know as well so I can make things better for you guys. But please, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell on the way out. All right, guys, take care of yourselves. If you're listening and watching the open TCGs, I will talk to you guys in the next one.